Good morning, West Community. I am Nikisha Jackson, and I am honored to serve as the principal of West Elementary School. I'm excited to welcome you to our beautiful home today. Welcome to Mayor Bowser, Chancellor Furby, and other community leaders. I appreciate your support and presence. Thank you to our teachers and staff here at West. I could not be any prouder for your patience and determination throughout the renovations and this historic moment in time. Because of you, it is clear that schools are more than beautiful buildings. They're our home and we are a family. As a DCPS school-wide enrichment model school, being in a cutting edge net zero school will present even more opportunities for our students or future leaders to engage in hands-on learning and creative thinking while serving our world through sustainable living practices. To our students, welcome home. I can't wait for you to see all the ways that you will thrive in our new home filled with so many meaningful learning experiences. And now I am proud to welcome one of our students, fourth grader Caleb Madden, to introduce our mayor. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for coming. My name is Caleb Madden, and I am a fourth grade student at West Elementary School. I also live in Ward 4 like Mayor Bowser. What I love most about West is the fun activities and my amazing teachers throughout the year, and I love playing with my friends. It is great to be here with all of you today. It is my honor to welcome and introduce our mayor, Ms. Muriel Bowser. Let's give Caleb a big round of applause. Our fourth grader, I know he speaks for all of his colleagues at West that they are so excited uh, to get back in their new building. I know the West teachers and staff, let's give them a big round of applause, who have um, spent a remarkable year, who have pivoted, who have inspired, who have done everything we've asked of them to make sure that our students could have an enriching year and be ready to come back to school. So thank you, teachers. Thank you, principal. Um, we know that we've all been living in a time that didn't have a playbook, and we're going to come out of it stronger uh, together. We are preparing this weekend, I think you know, for the 58th anniversary of the March on Washington. We know Congressman John Lewis spoke there. He was the youngest speaker on the program. He was just 23 years old. Uh, and last summer, I had the privilege of representing all of us as Congressman Lewis went uh, to Black Lives Matter Plaza just before his death. He told me then what I want to share with you now. It is my hope and prayer that I've tried to that what I've tried to do will inspire another generation of young people and people not so young to stand up to speak up and to speak out, to be brave, to be bold and courageous, to make our little planet better for all of us and those who are not born yet. It gives me a great privilege uh, with Chancellor Farabee, uh, the entire West community and all of the District of Columbia, uh, to recommend uh, that West Elementary School forever be named the John Lewis Elementary School right here in Ward 4. I'm certain that the congressman will continue to inspire many generations of students right here in Washington, especially the 350 boys and girls who will call West home. You are going to hear a lot about this beautiful building. I want to acknowledge the advisory neighborhood commissioners who are here, 
Uh, where are our commissioners? Give them a big round of applause. I see Maria is, is with us. Um, this goes back a, a lot of years. Uh, and it probably, how old is your son? He's our, uh, junior at Wilson High School. He's a junior. Well, I think he was pretty little. He was three years old when we started to talk about this. Um, that's incredible. Uh, then uh, families like Maria's came to me uh, as a council member to talk about how we would embrace not just here at West, but in all of Ward 4, our neighborhood schools. They told me in no uncertain terms that families wanted to go to their neighborhood schools and that we would embark in a series of years on funding and constructing uh, new buildings, but also investing uh, in teachers so that we could have the best teacher workforce anywhere in the United States of America. Give our teachers a big round of applause. As well uh, as our leadership, uh, and we feel very, very proud uh, of the investments we've made. Uh, I, I'll just share with you, uh, when I became the council member in 2007, what I heard then from families uh, is that they, they wouldn't go to their neighborhood schools and work for them. Uh, in fact, many families, a lot of families that could, they, they went to, to private schools or they, they went uh, long distances to other neighborhoods to send their kids to school. Uh, and what I know now uh, is that Ward 4 families are selecting their neighborhood schools and they're doing it from pre-K all the way to 12th grade. Uh, and that is a turnaround that is not only important for our kids, but it is important for the life um, of uh, our system. So I want to congratulate the leadership at DCPS. I see your board member is here, uh, board member O'Leary. Give him a big round of applause. But our team, I've talked too long and it is hot, but I had to, I had to mention that. Uh, and I know that you're, we're going to hear um, from other folks who will talk to you exactly about the building. You'll be able to see the building uh, and then we're going to cut the ribbon. I think now it's my uh, privilege to introduce uh, council member Lewis George. Wow, good morning. Is it good morning or afternoon yet? It's morning still, I'm hoping. Good morning, everyone. My name is Janice Lewis George, and I'm the proud council member of Ward 4. This is such a beautiful occasion. This building is so beautiful. The inside is just as beautiful as the outside. And there's so many great things to love about it. One of the things I love about most is the environmental thought that went into this building. This is one of our first uh, fully environmental buildings that are LEE certified, LED certified, and it's no um, uh, one of the biggest ways that we show how much we care about our community is also taking into account all of those things. This has been a labor of love for so many, and so I want to thank all of the people this has been a labor of love for, starting with our mayor, Muriel Bowser. Thank you for investing in this community. Thank you for always investing in our War for community and being a part of our community. I want to thank our Chancellor, Chancellor Farabee. Thank you so much for coordinating with this as well. And also Keith Anderson, our DGS director. I also want to acknowledge this has been a labor of love for the community. So many community members had input on this. I want to thank our ANC uh, commissioners who were involved, including Maria Berry and so many others. There were neighbors who came in and actually did the work, talked about what they wanted to see for this building, what did they envision for this building. And many of the people who were involved in doing that were also former, were former uh, member West Tigers. And what I remember about when this building was West Tigers is, you know, I went to Rudolph Elementary, and Rudolph and West, the cheerleading teams, we had a, a, a little rivalry. And so, you know, in West Tigers, they were sharp. The basketball team was good, and, and the uh, cheerleading team was good. And so I'd be like, oh, man, we got to go over to West. Uh, we went over to West, and we always got beat. But it was always a great time. Um, and so I'm so excited to come back to this beautiful space and, and, just, uh, and just, just marvel at everything 
every everything that has happened here. So I want to thank the community members. I know some of you sacrificed parking spaces for a number of weeks. Um, I know we got emails about that. Thank you for the sacrifice of your parking spaces. You getting them back. We're so excited about it. Um, and so we, we want to do that. Um, I think it's so important um, as we hear uh, you know, that this school be named after John Lewis. Um, I think growing up, kids are often told to stay out of trouble. Uh, but here at John Lewis Elementary School, uh, we can proudly encourage students to create good trouble, righteous trouble, <laughs> courageous trouble, trouble in the pursuit of justice and in defense of rights of all people. And so I, I believe that symbols matter, names matter, and what we honor matters. And this is a beautiful occasion to honor John Lewis and for our students on Monday morning to walk into this building ready to make good trouble and for our teachers ready to teach our new generation of students to, to go out and do good for this community and for our world. So I'm proud as council member of War 4 to look at this gym to be a part of this. This is going to be a community space. That's what schools are. They are the center of our community. So thank you all for being here. And Principal Jackson, I am so excited for you. <laughs> we have some phenomenal principals here in War 4. Principal Jackson is a phenomenal principal. This past year, she has done so much. The last two years, she has transitioned and done so many great things. So Principal Jackson, I am so happy this is home for you. And I look forward to coming and, and celebrating so many great things with you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, council member. Um, we are joined um, by the, the chief of staff for Congressman Lewis, who I know Congressman uh, Lewis loved so dearly, uh, and he was so faithful to, to the congressman. And it's so fitting that he is here um, to speak for the congressman's legacy in Washington, D.C. Michael Collins. Good morning. I, uh, I'm, I'm just moved. Um, I just want to, uh, to stop by and, and bring greetings. Uh, thank you, Mayor Bowser. Uh, thank you, community, uh, local leaders. I really appreciate this uh, unbelievable honor. Um, on behalf of the family, um, they're just moved. Uh, they will be in town tomorrow for the march. They were unable to be here. Um, I just want to just, again, simply say thank you because Congressman Lewis loved school. Um, he loved teachers. He talked early about um, his teachers and how much they had an impact on him. And what he always said was his favorite teacher told him, read, my child, read. And he took those early lessons and he read everything. Um, and it was the early beginning of his life. And as you know, it took him all the way here to Washington um, and so many points along the way that we've been honored uh, to witness and be a part of. Um, and this is just a moment that I, I am just honored to be here. And um, thank you again to everybody. Thank you for what you do. Thank you for lifting up the young people, the children, educating. Um, it is so important. And again, the congressman would just be over the moon by this. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. And I would like to ask members of our um, public get open public schools team uh, and Keith Anderson, who directs DGS. It was the construction team for um, the government will speak and Chancellor Faraby uh, will speak. And uh, then I think we're going to go right to uh, the ANC commissioner, Maria Berry, and cut the ribbon and um, get to the tour. So I'm going to ask everybody um, to, to come up now. Chancellor Faraby, Director Anderson. Director Anderson, why don't you talk about the building first, and we'll hear from Chancellor Faraby, and then um, we'll hear from Maria. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Keith Anderson, the Director of Department of General Services, uh, and I'm pleased to be here to present this net zero energy building uh, for the Lewis community. The DGS team is particularly excited about this property because it is an example of how building design can harness energy and sustainability elements, creating a net zero facility, facility for our students. 
the Lewis, what I'll say, uh, elementary school is outfitted and ready to generate an equal amount of energy that it uses on, on a daily basis. Uh, the building is also replete with stormwater bi biotension uh, swells that will uh, literally keep thousands of water, of rainwater, stormwater, out of the Anacostia River. The building is also uh, equipped with the outdoor amphitheater for the children, a, a full-size elementary school-size uh, gymnasium, uh, as well as a host of pl play, uh, playground activities and outdoor activities for the children. There's also a beautiful new cafeteria that, is, um, that has a, a plethora of natural light. Uh, what we have done here is created a beautiful work envir uh, a learning environment for our youngsters, and I couldn't be proud to deliver this on behalf of Mayor Bowser. Uh, yeah, please clap for that. With that said, I, there are a couple of folks I'd like to thank, uh, starting with the Architects per Perkins Eastman, uh, which is a district-owned business, and 50% of the staff working on this project were D.C. residents. So thank you, Perkins Eastman, for your contributions. Additionally, many thanks to the general contractor, Gilbane Saxon Collaborative, for the excellent work that you did constructing this building. Please give them a round of applause. I'd like to thank Tiffany Moore and the DGS Capital Construction Division. Also, thank you, and uh, ANC 4C Commissioner, Ms. Barry, Commissioner Barry, and the Ward 4 Education Alliance for your contributions. Lastly, congratulations to the, all the artists that participated in the Percent for Art program within DGS whose uh, original art pieces will be displayed throughout the building. Thank you, and congratulations to the Lewis community. I like to say this is like the Super Bowl for D.C. public schools, getting uh, folks and our kids back to school. And this is a, a special Super Bowl year for DCPS. So I want to acknowledge Chancellor Faraby, all of our central office teachers and staff who are doing everything uh, to make sure our kids can get in their enriching environments with their teachers and their student colleagues. Chancellor Faraby. Thank you, Mayor Bowser. Again, we appreciate your investment in our public schools. This is a world-class facility. It is amazing. Uh, as we've been preparing for Monday, August 30th, to return back to school stronger than ever before, one of our themes have been open our doors. And so I walk into this building and we are truly opening our doors. So if you don't know, there are garage style doors to every classroom and it allows teachers to have a open space for learning for our students. And that's just one of the many examples I could point to in the thought and the design of this facility to give our students a world-class educational experience. So thank you to Principal Jackson, the entire team of educators, leaders, and staff for your patience. We are so proud to deliver this building to you to enhance the learning experience of our young people and to our community members, our leaders, those that have been supporting this process from start to finish. Know that we are ready to receive our young people in school on Monday. And it is the best place. It is the ideal place. More importantly, it is where we develop our young people academically, socially, and emotionally is in our schools. Thank you so much to everyone. Hi, good afternoon, no, good morning, I think still. Um, my name is Maria Berry. I have the distinct honor and privilege of serving in, in the single member district of 4CO2 as the advisory neighborhood commissioner. Um, and I just am so thrilled to be here. It really is a true honor. And I'm here uh, not just representing myself as a neighbor, but really our entire community of 16th Street Heights. Um, we're all part of this process. And I can't say enough about how that process uh, was very transparent, uh, ve 
incredible communication. We had incredible contacts, uh, both during the construction, but also in advance of the construction. And I, I, I have to give a shout out to the neighbors, uh, just like the council member did on, on Gallatin, on the 1300 block, and uh, here on Farragut, because I know this was, um, you know, there definitely was a burden, but uh, you know, it always takes a little pain to come out with an incredible gift. And this is the gift that we have. And we are, I am just, personally thrilled, but I know the whole neighborhood is, is thrilled. The investment, as Mayor Bowser mentioned, um, when my son was four years old, not three, so it was back in 2008, um, a group of neighbors came together because at that time, uh, West at the time was on the chopping block, actually, in terms of not having enough enrollment to potentially stay open. And we came together as a community then, and we stayed in the fight. And it's so fitting that John uh, Congressman John Lewis legacy is here just right on that sign, which I love. You are a light. You are the fight. And this community came together and said, we don't want our school closed. Schools are too important. They are the fabric of our community. And we worked with Mayor, with then Councilmember Bowser and then Councilmember Brandon Todd and the like, and we kept pushing and pushing. And the school modernization is a clear sign about what it takes, uh, the partnership with the city and the city's investment through the Chancellor and the Councilmember and D the budgets that were involved um, to get this, and also at full funding. We at one point didn't think we were going to have the full funding, and there were many neighbors, including Josh Hertzberg and others that may, may or not be here, but who fought incredibly hard um, to get full funding for modernization. So this means a lot um, to, to me personally, uh, but also I know uh, for our community. It couldn't be a more beautiful building. I also had the distinct honor of serving on the school improvement team, so I kind of saw how the sausage was made um, and had parents and incoming parents and other community members involved. And then I was asked to be on the actual name change committee. So the fact that we're all coming together today, the day before, or two days before the March on Washington, um, to celebrate not just the beautiful building, LEED certified around environmental justice, as long with social justice, but also uh, we're coming together to celebrate the opening of the doors of uh, John Lewis Elementary. So I think we're still the Tigers. And a thank you to the staff and to the teachers and the principal. I look forward to attending all the community events that I know you will continue to invite me to. So thank you, thank you, thank you, and have a great, great visit and a school year. Thanks. Okay. Any questions? 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 Uh, peace and blessings, Mayor Thank Bowser. Thank you. Uh, Sam Collins from the Washington Informer. Yes. Uh, in regards to reopening, uh, what consideration are you giving to parents who might be apprehensive about uh, their children? It was a letter that a school board of, um, that a state board member sent out this consideration are you giving you're coming in and out so i think i heard your question um to be about virtual learning and what the dcps um process is Not the pro okay uh, you guys i can't hear him he's coming in and out so you you could come up closer so i can hear you or Sure. So we uh, we have a process in place uh, for parents to request virtual learning. Uh, the public schools have, which you know, which I'm talking about, DC public schools. The public charter school board uh, has approved another process for a couple of schools, I think. Uh, and the process is in place. Parents can access it. Uh, we know that we have a little over 150 parents who have accessed that process. The other questions? All right, let's cut the ribbon. <laughs>